Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to smooth out the coils on the outside of your uh, coil vase so that you can end up with that smooth surface. So um, you want to do this at sections at a time. I usually build up about five, six, maybe seven coils up and then I smooth all of those out at once instead of doing one coil then smoothing, then another coil, then smoothing. This is just kind of a time saver and it ends up looking a lot neater. And so I have my coil vase here. It is nowhere close near being done being built, but I do need to start smoothing before this dries out too much. So I'm using my template here Kind of turning this as I use it, make sure that it's all good to go. I'm actually going to get eye level with this. So you want to make sure that the general shape or form of your vase is correct by checking it with your template first before smoothing. And mine looks pretty good, so I think I'm ready to smooth mine out, but it's always good to double check yours. So when smoothing your coil vase there's a few different ways you can do it and now one of the best ways to do it is with this tool and now this is a serrated metal rib which those of you at home if you're um, 100 percent online this tool was not given to you in your um, in your toolkit so I do have other options for you so um, you can also use Basically, you need anything with little spikes like this. So you can also use a serrated knife, like a steak knife that's got those nice little sharp spikes in it. You just need something that will scratch the surface and create lines. And so I'm gonna show you how to do it with this and I'll show you how to do it with the knife as well. A fork would probably even work, but that might take longer. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your vase and this is probably best done, honestly, on the table, not holding it in your hand, but just so you guys can see, I'm gonna hold it in my hand. And what you're gonna do is you're going to start to blend these together using the serrated tool. And so I'm using medium pressure, nothing crazy, to start to blend these coils into each other. And you might think, this looks super messy, that does not look smooth at all. You're right, but trust me, it will end up looking smooth. So, when you're doing this, you wanna go up and down, side to side, all different directions. So that you start to lose where those lines are. And even though this looks super messy, I know, I know, but it's going to turn out smooth, just trust me. So let's sh show it with a knife. So this knife is working good. We have these edges that are being created. And what that serrated part of the knife does is it just helps to kind of pull the clay to each other and kind of pull one piece of clay to the other piece. Then what you can do, and all of you can do this with your regular rib tool. So let me grab that one. We have our regular metal rib tool that doesn't have the serrated edge on it. After you've got that done, then you can start to use the bottom edge to start to smooth that out. And you can use also a finger, what finger? Start to smooth that over. And you're trying to get rid of all of those scratched lines that you created. And now we can see how smooth that surface is. And so if you can't get rid of all of the bumps right away, that's okay. Just focus on blending these coils into each other. You do not have to do this on the inside. The inside can stay 
uh, with the coils like this, unless you are able to see into your vase, say you have a really wide opening for your vase and you're able to see into your vase and you don't want it to have these lines in there, then you can smooth out the inside, but it is not required for you to smooth out the inside. So you would continue doing this process all the way around your coil pot. So you would do all of these together and then you would continue building on top. So um, I'm gonna do that now. And then on the slide, I will show you a finished picture of what this looks like all smoothed out. 